Also tonight, Lee Rigby's family unveil a memorial to the murdered soldier as the nation remembers the fallen. Now, across the region at 11 o'clock this morning, city centres, schools and workplaces fell silent as people paused to remember those who lost their lives while serving their country. And for one family, Armistice Day this year had a special significance. The family of Fusilier Lee Rigby travelled to Woolwich, where he was murdered two and a half years ago, and where, after a campaign led by his loved ones, there is finally a permanent memorial to the soldier from Middleton. Claire Fallon reports. Surrounded by family and wearing his poppy, Jack Rigby came to the town where his father was killed and where there's now a permanent tribute to Fusilier Lee Rigby. On the armistice day wreath he left, a card written by a son who will grow up without a father. It reads, to daddy, me and mummy miss and love you. It's a proper place for people to go and visit rather than on a, uh, on a street corner, albeit where he actually died, but uh, it's a wonderful tribute for him and for his mum and dad. At 11 o'clock across the northwest, people fell silent and remembered. In Liverpool, where thousands of poppies make up the weeping window display at St George's Hall, there was also quiet reflection. I think the youngsters have got to be taught in school what it's all about, what the poppy stands for. It needs to be remembered, and I want the children to go out remembering how important it was. It, it's exceptional to see such a big turnout for Remembrance Day and remember all the, uh, the brothers that we've left behind, and it, it means a lot. Um, and it links us to our past because the poppies from World War I right through to, to what we do today um, in Afghanistan where we're just, sort of just finishing up now. And it was that determination to honour and remember that united so many today. Claire Fallon, BBC Northwest Tonight.